Hello, I'm David Chaston with 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, including news of big talk but no real action. Earlier this morning, the ECB did its latest policy review. It moved closer to the kind of large-scale government bond purchases used in the United States and left its benchmark interest rate unchanged. But in the end, it actually made no changes. The Bank of England held pat as well, but regulators there are in the final stages of setting the penalties for its currency manipulation charges. Six banks are involved, UBS, RBS, Barclays, Citigroup, HSBC and JP Morgan, and the penalty were about half a billion dollars. Formal announcements may not be made until American regulators set their course of action, and that may include criminal charges. Yesterday we reported that the US Fed had adopted a rule that no US bank could dominate more than 10% of the US banking system. Today comes news that British authorities are also looking into the dominance issue. China's central bank vowed yesterday to lower funding costs for corporate borrowers amid increasing pressure on the nation's slowing economy. In a report on third quarter monetary policy, the People's Bank of China has also confirmed that it already conducted two rounds of liquidity injections into the country's banking system in September and October, totaling $160 billion in a bid to get interest rates lower and bolster more economic growth. Yesterday, September data showed that Australia added more jobs than projected in October and unemployment held steady. But doubts remained about data which showed the big swings in state jobless rates. In the US, the number of Americans filing new claims for unemployment benefits fell more than expected last week and compensation accelerated in the third quarter. That's the latest signs of tightening American labour market conditions. In New York, US Treasury 10-year yields are again flat to rising in trade today and are currently at 2.37%. The oil price is unchanged today, staying firmly at its new lower levels at just over $78 a barrel, with the Brent price just over $83 a barrel. It seems that the $70 a barrel level is the pain point at which OPEC will start limiting output. That, at that level, it would drop New Zealand pump prices to $1.95 a litre. The gold price continued its decline and is now below $1,143 an ounce. Following on from yesterday's surge in the US dollar, we lost more ground against the greenback today and are now at about the lowest level since June 2012. It's now at 77 US cents, 89.8 Aussie cents, and the TWI is still at 76.5 though. I'm David Chaston, that was 9 brought to you by interest.co.nz.